Hi and welcome to a tutorial on how to edit, insert, and delete stitches in Sew What Pro. This will be useful if you have digitized a design in Sew Art and you need to touch things up so things are a little more perfect. You can also use this if you have a commercially produced design that isn't quite perfect and you just want to get it touched up so that you can get it stitched. Let's get started. I have a very simple design loaded into Sew What Pro. The first thing I will do after I've loaded the design is I'm going to click on the magnifier glass with the plus on it to increase the image size. I'm going to do this a lot. You want to get it really large. When you get it to the point where you can see these little squares right here, that's probably good. You can go even further if you'd like. All of those little squares represent where the needle will go into the fabric. Those are your stitch points. There's a little spot on this O that I'm not really happy with, so I'm going to edit that. First thing you want to do is click your cutting toolbar icon to open your cutting toolbar. It's up here next to this green and yellow striped icon. You click that and your toolbar opens. Then you want to click split at stitch. That allows you to start making some edits. I'm going to work on this O. And actually, I think I'm going to turn my grid off. You can go to View and turn off grid lines. That will make it a little easier for you and for me to see what's going on here. You'll notice that there's this strange little spot right here where the underlay stitch just kind of disappears from one spot to another. It would make sense that it would go from here to here, but it doesn't. I'm going to click on one of those stitch points to highlight it, and then I'm going to use my arrow key on the keyboard. The left and the right arrow keys will move you forward and back through your stitches. And we're going to find out where that weird stitch ended up. So 6711 is what's on the screen. 6712. Oh, there's 6713 way over there. That doesn't make any sense. Let's fix that. Since there really isn't a very big jump between 6712 and 6714. Let's just delete 6713. We've got it highlighted. It's blue right there. I'm just going to go up here to my cutting toolbar and I'm going to click delete selected stitch. And it's gone. And you'll see that it goes right from here to here now. So I'm going to go back up here. 6711, 6712, 6713. So it's gone. That's fixed. Now let's move on to this little odd spot up here at the top of the O. I don't like the, I, I would like that to be closed. I don't like it the way it is. I'm going to start by I'm going to move some of these stitches down because when I start adding a few stitches up here it's going to end up getting kind of crowded with all these stitches in the same spot. We don't want that. So I'm going to start right about here and I'll start moving these stitches down. I'm going to click on one and if you hold, once you've highlighted it, if you click and hold your control key, you can move that stitch. Just like that. Now I'm going to go up to the next one. Right there we need to move that one down just a little bit. I'm just doing this to make more room for the stitches up at the top of the O. And you'll see that these are all kind of lining up now. Okay, that one right there is one of the stitches that's going to be kind of funny. That one's okay. It's going to go right over the top of another stitch, but that's okay. A couple, couple in one spot. It's not going to be a problem. Bring that one down there. And this one's way over here. So we're going to take that one and we're going to move that right down there. And I'm just going to move this one over just a little bit. Right there. Now we need to figure out the best place to insert some stitches. So I'm going to go over here and click and see where these stitches are going so I have an idea of what the run of the machine is going to be. You can also use the stitch simulator prior to bringing this in large so that you can see it and edit to get an idea of what the stitch pattern is. Okay, there's 67, 33, there's 34. Okay, so it's going counterclockwise around the O at that point. And I'm just using my arrow keys. There's 31 and it's coming right from the underlay stitch and then stitching that. So 67, 30, after 67, 31, because it's going to 
let's see, it's got th there's 30, 31, 32. It would make more sense for it to go right in after 31. So 67, 31 is highlighted. And if you hover over the insert key, it says insert new stitch before selected stitch. That's actually not correct, at least in the version that I have. I haven't updated my Sew What Pro in a little while, but so it may have been changed. It actually inserts them after the selected stitch. So I have the one, I want to select one, add one right after the selected one, so I'm going to click insert. There's a new 32. I'm going to hold down my keyboard, control key. Actually, I guess I want to add two of them there. I'll get it. So 32 wants to go up there. 33 wants to come back down here. And 34 is kind of sunken down a little bit right there. So we're just going to move it up just a little bit to make that O nice and round. That's probably a little too far. Bring it down just to here, right there. It's probably the same spot I had. Okay, so there's 34, and I'm, I'm a little lost in where I am, so I'm going to go back, and I'm going to hit, click on one of the stitches. There's 34. 35 is down there. I need to go the other direction. 32, 31. Okay, so I still need to add... a little more and this will take some some practice and some patience and playing with it to get what you want to do I'm just going to add two at once and then move them 34 is going to be the second one so it's going to go right up there and 33 will come right down here and you'll see that we have this I'm going to move that one up just a little bit make that nice and round and you'll see that we have this pretty well filled in. I'm going to move that one just a little bit. I don't like where it is. All right, we've got that nicely filled in. Now you'll notice that the underlay stitches don't go up there. So let's take care of that. That one is 6711. I'm going to go and figure out what, how this goes. Okay, it comes up from here. That's number 8, number 9, number 10, and then it goes over to 11. So let's add a new number 11, at least. So 67, whoops, there's two right on top of each other. That sometimes happens. Best thing you can do at this point is just go back a stitch and advance it, and then don't click on it. So I've got it set for 6710. I'm going to click Insert. That added a new 11. Uh, I'm going to move that right over there. And you'll notice that that pretty much takes care of, let me get this out of the way so you can see, that takes care of kind of filling that in. And I think I'm going to add one more stitch and bring that stitch right up in this area. So I've highlighted 6711. I'm going to insert. I'm going to hold my control key down on my keyboard. And I'm just going to drag that stitch up there so that kind of rounds that out just a little bit more. I hope that, oops, there's one right there. Let's fix that too. That's better. I hope that you have found this tutorial video useful. It was something that I noticed there was no video on and somebody on one of the So What Pro groups on Facebook uh, was kind enough to instruct me on how to do. Thank you and hope this is helpful and have a good day.